Niklas Kvagrin looking very, very intense. Oh, yeah. As is Naive. There we go. Hard Don't lead kick from Taib. Oh. And an overhand right from Kvagrin. Everything, every, every technique is thrown extremely hard. Yeah, absolutely. Naive wow. putting him down. Kvagrin going. Kvagrin is going for a heel hook. I don't think that is allowed in A-class, as the risk of injury is very high. The tie getting some hard strikes from the bottom. Strange position, but very both landing here. It's a 50-50 position. This is normally seen in jiu-jitsu and submission wrestling, but now he's going for a knee bar. Oh, wow. Kvagrin is going. Let's see if he has it. Doesn't look like he has it. Naib is looking very calm. So he's got his right foot on the behind of Nicholas here, pushing away, trying to clear the knee line. See what he can do with his position. Now this is very strange. Naib <laughs> just striking from every position. Spins, Spins out of it out nicely of it. done. We're trying to see some explosive shots. Both taking some hard shots, but they're wearing it well. And I mean, just look at the back of Naive Taib. I mean, he looks like a light heavyweight. Beautiful jab. Oh, I mean, wow. This is they power over technique right now. They're swinging. Oh. And Nicholas is hurt. Nicholas is hurt right now. He is. Taib connected there. Hyatt does look like a fresher fighter here initially. And these guys are not I mean, holding out for the full 15 minutes or nine minutes. These guys are, I mean, they're emptying the tank. Taya, look at that from the tie of deep shot. Done. Let's see if we see some more unorthodox striking here from grounded position. We see here Nicolas cinching up a Kimura. He's got the grip. He's got the grip, but I think Naib is wise to it, keeping his posture. You see he's hiding his own hand there by his leg. And Nicholas had to give up. He's going for the leg again now. Notice he's going for the knee bar again. Now he's got the knee line. Maybe he's going to use it to stand up. I mean, Naib is not addressing this right now. Yeah, he's just kind of letting it go. Yeah. Trying to use the position to get some ground and pound off. Kragan isn't really being successful with uh, his submission attempts here. I mean, Itaev doesn't seem bothered by it at all. And it is interesting to see how the judges will look at these submission attempts. Because he's going for knee bars, but he's also getting uh, hit in the face by, the, by a naive in that position, so that's very interesting. Yeah, it's I mean, an interesting position for the judges to be in, yeah. How, how do you, I mean, who do you really score as the one with the advantage of everyone who's going for a submission or everyone who's actually landing the shots? And here we see some of the action from the opening seconds of the round and they were just going for wild. it. Wild. Would like to see the competitors in the in the second round take a page out of Eladio's book and staying a little bit more patient and picking their shots using some feints. Right now they're going power for power, hooks for hooks here. Yeah, and it, I mean, the question is who has a better gas tank? Because if you continue at this pace and with this type of striking, I mean, they're not going to make it the full three rounds. You see Nic Nicholas here with his mouth open, breathing heavy. You see. Taib looks tired too, but not as tired. All right, slightly more <laughs> managed pace here in the second round. Little more Kupo's hard leg kick there. Good counter to from Taib, I know. <laughs> They're just going right back to swing. You see, Naib is landing. I mean, his, his offense is his defense, although he slips the punch right yeah, there. Yeah, that was very nicely done. Nicholas overextending a little Head bit. Kick there, it doesn't quite land. 
You can see Nicolas, you mean very labored, kind of stiff. He look he looks very strong, but he looks like he has used all of his explosiveness in the first round. Deep shot by Naive. Look at how he hooked the it. right leg there. It was beautiful technique. But it's hard to keep a strong guy like Nicolas down. And he stands up. Now this is beautiful. He Full guard here for Naive. And we saw some more unorthodox striking. Uh, Ferdinand with his leg caught and one hand on the ground was still using his, using his other hand to strike from the bottom. Oh. Nicolas trying to cinch up a triangle here. Naive should be careful with yeah. his posture. He can't lean too much. Now, obviously, Kurgan does have a disadvantage of being up against the cage. He can't really extend himself the way he would like to. Nice roll. I think he's going to roll for the leg again. He likes those knee bars. I wonder if that's a wise decision. I mean, he hasn't really managed to, to get anything out of these attempts. The only thing he's really done is, you know, and ends up on bottom and gets those hard yes. strikes. Wow. Here you see. Naive is, ha, ha, is wise to it now, and he's using it to land his own offense. I mean, Itayev just does not seem bothered by these submission attempts at all. It, now you can see here, Nicolas actually giving up his back in order to get the knee bar, but he's still, I mean, he's clinging on to that foot for dear life. And now that looks a little deeper. Let's see what he can do with his position. Only about I mean, 35 seconds left. I mean, this hurts. I mean, you, 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 you can tear apart the hamstring if this gets really deep. But he, you see, Nicholas is not using his hips. He needs to push his hips forward he, as, as he gives up on it. And they scramble. Nicely done by your tire. <laughs> Oh, hard is. shots there from the top. Yatayev yeah. completely listened to his corner who were imploring him to get off some ground and pound that he definitely obliged. And it's another round of the books for Naib Yatayev. I can only imagine the fatigue that these guys are feeling right now. Everything is 100%. And I wonder if we're going to see some adjustments now from Kurgan that perhaps he'll stop or perhaps he'll start abandoning the, the knee bar and perhaps try to go for something different if he ends up on bottom because as of now he's just he's just not winning these grappling exchanges. He's not getting off any grappling offense and he is just taking so much damage from the top for his efforts. Kurgan looks tired. He does. Yes. Taib looks much more fresh. He's jumping around. He got up right away. Let's see if Kurgan has some tricks up his sleeve to pull off a win here. I think that Kurgan's corner had some tricks up their sleeve. Yeah. They Definitely took for time getting out and it looks like maybe some water was spilled. Obviously you can't have a slippery canvas. It's all or nothing now for Nicolas Kurgan. Oh wow. Kurgan extends for touch of gloves. He does not, he does want, not want anything to do with that. Kurgan calling him off saying let's go. But a tie of staying, he's, you know, he's keeping his composure. Hard jab. You can hear that jab in the old arena. Absolutely. And Nicolas looking labored right now. And you can see I mean, the, the expression in Nicolas' face is actually inspiring Naib to get more loose. As you can see, Naib is feeling himself here. Yeah, I mean, he know, he's got to know that he's ahead on the judges' scorecards. He sees how fatigued Twergen is. 
And always when you're in there and you can see that, that, that your opponent is wearing the damage that you cost and you can see that he is tired, that gets you motivated, that gets you fired up. And that, the same goes if your opponent shows you that nothing is hurting and he's showing you that he's still in this. That can also affect you mentally. Absolutely. Even though at times there's a lot of bluffing involved with that. It is. A lot of times, you know, they'll smile, they shake their head, but usually... Hard jabs. I mean, he's busting his nose right open. Yeah, he's bleeding a lot from his nose, as Nicholas Corrigan. Another hard jab. And Nicholas needs to be careful walking forward with his, with his mouth open right oh, now. That was a labored, yes. desperate takedown attempt. Not even close. And as he's walking down with his mouth open, he needs to be careful because a hard shot to the jaw might wow. break that jaw. That was a hard overhand, and we saw a tie of slip over I mean, there where Kurgan's corner seemed to have spilled some water. Don't really like that. We don't want something like that impacting a fight. And Naib is also tired. I mean, make no mistake, he has put it. He has put in work tonight. We got one minute left. I mean, they both really just gave so much. Oh, oh my wow. goodness. Kurgan threw that with everything he had, hoping for it to be fight ending, but just ends up crashing to the canvas instead. Now that is a highlight in and of itself. Absolutely. And okay. he, oh, the time does not. Okay, yes, he does get a takedown. It looked a little bit. He turned the corner beautifully there. He didn't need to penetrate and move forward. He can just turn the corner. And again, you can see Nicholas going for that knee bar. I think th 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 there needs to be some adjustments in the training because you can see his instincts are coming coming forward here. And maybe in training, he's doing a lot of grappling without striking, perhaps. And, th and there he's going for those knee bars. Absolutely. And you have to make those adjustments when you're preparing because what works in training in one, in one discipline won't always work in exactly. MMA. Exactly. You need to Going for it again, but I'm expecting Itai to, yeah, there we go, to throw some more shots. Ten seconds left, and he's just probably going to end it getting off some more shots. I mean, he's just not at all bothered by the submission attempt. I would like to have seen perhaps a little bit more offense from Itai there at the end of the round, but still, though, I mean, if you just look at these two fighters, you can tell who won and who lost. Yes. Ladies and gentlemen, at the three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards, who scored about 30-27, 30-26, and 30-27. All three in favor of your winner by unanimous decision. In the red corner, Naheeb Hichihe! Absolutely easy fight to score, and Naib Itayev continues his winning streak, showing very strong outings.